is the valuable one. Hey. So we're now filming Araminta being creation. Sure. Got Steve and Colin. Colin's the shearer. Steve is the able Steve assistant who does absolutely everything else. The purpose of shearing them as a career is to stop the young fleece that um, they're born with catching lots of vegetation in it. So it makes them clearer, it makes, them, it makes the fleece stay cleaner, but also um, it stops things like brambles getting caught up under the tail um, and um, that can lead to sites for fly strike. Um, it also means that their fibre is more usable once they um, are sure that their first proper shearing at a year old. So Araminta was born in April, early April, so her shearing won't be till May next year, so she'll have plenty of um, fleece left um, because it grows quicker than the adult fleece. So by next year it can be more than long enough. As you can see, she's already got quite a lot of fleece on her. the youngsters seem to accept this quite easily. They're tied, they're stretched out because the skin is thin, much, much thinner than the sheep. And if they're not stretched, then you can get um, cuts into the animal um, as you shear them, um, which can actually be quite nasty. And at this time of year, real risk for fly strike. So um, they're stretched, it holds them still. You'll see that at times there's a bag we put over the neck. That's a sandbag. It's, it's weighted so it won't suffocate the animal. This isn't like um, someone kneeling on your esophagus and stopping you from breathing. Um, it doesn't stop them breathing at all. They would panic if it did, but it does stop them wriggling around and getting cut when we're um, shearing the bits that are most at risk. So there's the sandbag that's gone on. That means they can release it a bit. Um, the animal stays still, just trimming up the bits under the body, under the front of the neck, between the front legs. He's not standing on the neck, he's standing definitely onto the floor. I'm showing you from the other side. She's just very accepting of this little wriggle there. Probably because I went in and got too close. Alpacas generally don't like to be cuddled, so I don't cuddle them as they're being shorn because that just adds an extra stress. And then once she's been shorn, she'll go straight back into the pen with all the mums and back to her own mum. And they usually accept it without any problem at all. So he's just doing around the tail. They don't take too much off the tail because um, too much on the off the tail firstly means the mums don't, don't smell them, so they don't smell the same. But also, it's likely that um, they'll get sunburn on their bums because they don't have much, much fibre just underneath the tail. This is the point where we actually find out their true colours because the ones like like um, like Araminta, she's obviously going to have a ginger belly, but they um, we've taken off the baby fleece which will have been um, discoloured by amniotic fluid and we actually see what colour she is underneath and she'll probably stay more or less that colour for the rest of her life. I'm sure that shearing alpacas is much more stressful to the owner than it is to the um, al alpaca itself. You see she's quite happy with this. In fact her mum is um, Purdy. Purdy's just stood watching all this going on, ready to say hello as her career comes back. Now, very carefully around the head, make sure we don't take an eye or something like that out.
You notice when Colin rolls her over, he always rolls her over her belly. You shouldn't roll our packers over their backs. And now he's just trimming up her head. This will stop her fibre as, she, as it grows, getting into her eyes. Wool blindness, it's sometimes called, when an alpaca has so much fibre on its face that it actually can no longer see. And that becomes quite a big welfare issue. One of the benefits of shearing as queers, it will stop that. So, she's now finished. So I'm just putting neck collar on her in case we couldn't identify her again. And Colin the Shearer, who's very, very good on fibre because he uh, recognises a lot of them, um, has said her fibre was good, which is a real nice, nice uh, thing to say. Um, I'll have to adjust that collar later, it's on much too loose. But there we are, she's going in to say hello to Purdy. And she's following Curdy back into the main herd and away from, away from the front here. There we are, there's the two of them just in the middle. There we are, she's sniffing her. 